I'm kind of a little under the weather, but uh, I went and seen Scream 4 last night. I've had time to, you know, look back and think about the movie and just get all my judgments together about it. I did the first look on the video almost a year back and what I thought the movie was going to be about. So let's see what I think about it after now the finished product has been released and I've watched it. So here's my review of Scream 4. Scream 4 takes place 10 years after the previous trilogy and basically now Sydney is a accomplished author of her own self-help book um, Out of Darkness and everything and decides to go back goes back to Woodsboro on her last stop of her book tour for this thing. Dewey and Gail in the movie are now married and basically Gail has given up reporting and everything to have the home life with Dewey who is now sheriff of Woodsboro. And of course on upon Sydney's return to Woodsboro it happens, you know, everything starts to happen again. You know, basically and I love the fact that, you know, back in the 90s they, you know, cell phones were the huge hit rave thing. Didn't have text messaging or anything like that. It was just basically cell phones and stuff like that. So they hit upon that in the original trilogy, and that's where it ended. I like how in the new movie they actually, you know, got all the new stuff that's out now. Facebook, Twitter, you know, streaming video, YouTube, stuff like that. How it's all over the internet. They really hit upon, you know, the difference in ages and stuff like this. This movie was actually, it's like a reboot of the franchise, but with the original as a sequel as well. Did they really need to make this movie? I don't think they really need, needed to, but I did think the movie was actually really good. Did I like it better than the first one? No. The the very first one is the most original, and because when it came out, it was just wow, you know, it was really good. Of course, it's it is hard to watch the original movie, and I think of also Scary Movie, the parody of it after Rats came out, but it it's still <clears throat> one of the best ones out there. I think the third one is actually the cheesiest of all of them, and. I was kind of worried about that going into this fourth one because you got a fourth movie, you're thinking, okay, God, it's going to butcher it, basically. But this movie doesn't. Um, the opening sequence to this movie, I thought was started off kind of real cheap. It was real cheesy. I was like, oh, please, God, don't let this movie be the whole way through like this. But it it actually does not is not like that. It's you'd have to you'd have to watch it to know why it's like that at the very beginning and everything but actually I thought the story was actually really well done they really like I said they made it like a reboot but it really wasn't it was a sequel and a reboot in one thing because they a lot of the elements and everything that takes place in this movie was rehashed from the very first one or the, you know some some most of the first one movie is what it was mainly off of so it was kind of interesting to see all that, and it was actually interesting to get these all these you know the original cast, Nev Campbell, Courtney Cox, and David Arquette back. Even though I do agree with uh, Storm Zink on his review of it, the movie, I did think that the chemistry between these characters wasn't as good as it as the first three, but I think they did that because of the ten year gap. Of it, you know, people may have lost touch and stuff like that, so it's it's different. And I know you don't have Courtney Cox's character now as out there as she was in the first three because of the fact of you know she's now a settled down woman and stuff like that. She's quit reporting, so her character's not as you know was as good as it was in the previous movies. And but overall, I thought the movie was actually very enjoyable. It was uh, like I said, I enjoyed it a lot better than I did uh, the second and the third film. Uh, it's it's up there as one of the good ones. But I, it, there was some issues I did have with it. There was some bad acting in this movie as well. But I won't get into who because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, the killer did surprise me. Uh, part of it, I guess. Part of it, I didn't. So I really was surprised about it because I kind of was going by who I thought was the killer at the very beginning. <clears throat> and 
they kind of give you a lot of clues at different characters of who you, you know, it makes you think, okay, that's the killer. Oh, no, no, that's the killer. You know, I like how they do that. They make it where you have, it's a whole guessing game kind of throughout the whole movie. And at the end, I, I was surprised at who the killer was. So it was very interesting. I did like how the movie ended and everything. And they did leave it off to make it another, you know, seek, you know, two more sequels like they're wanting to do. But it was also left off to be, um, like the, like I said, it was made to be also a standalone movie if it did not do as good. So, I definitely recommend it. I give it a 4 out of 5 stars if I was, you know, rating it. And, you know, if you like a good, you know, going to see a good scary movie or something like that, you know, slasher film in the theater, I definitely recommend going to see this movie. If you're a fan of the, of the Scream movies, then you'll like, I think you'll like the movie. But yeah, you'll you will have problems with it. If you hated the second and the third one, you probably will hate this one because it's just it's all once again rehashed. If they wouldn't have brought the, I think if they wouldn't have brought the original cast back for this, and it would have been all the new cast members, this movie would have fucking sucked. It was having the original cast making it a sequel like reboot, which actually made this movie worth watching. I don't think a remake official remake of it would have been you know any good at all and just you know having it it's the original cast that makes this movie to me but that's my review of it guys i hope you enjoyed it leave your comments below and until next time